host George Godfrey. This is Shortwaves with Jaguar Shoes Collective and today talking to Lois from Pins. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. Thank you. I wanted to start out today by talking about the new Pins album because it is finally out. It feels like I've been waiting a while for this one, but Hot Slick is here. I know, finally, just a few days ago as well, nearly a week. But yeah, finally, I think we've all been uh, dying for it to come out. So, yeah, How have you found the reaction so far? Uh, yeah, really positive. There's obviously like a bit of a change in style there, but that's been received pretty well as well. So that opener on the track, the title one, is so, so sick. What was the sort of like the initial spark with that one? Was it the beat? Was it the bass line? With this one, um, Face was talking about having sort of like quite an indulgent song or, you know, something that is quite repetitive and maybe yeah. like has influence from suicide and, and bands like that. Opening the album with the longest track on there as well. It's a bold move. Yeah, we, do you know what we tend to do is like play them live, um, mm. like tracks out live. And then when we came to doing the track listing, that's kind of how it plays live and we like the energy and the flow of it that way, so. Hot Slick's the one that you worked with Jamie Hintz on, right, from The Kills? Yeah, he did a bit of, uh, it's like a pre-production with us on that and like, right. he he was messing around with like some of those drum sounds um, and like, he's got an old drum machine from the 60s that sort of really worked some of it through and yeah, it was, he's nice. a great guy. We worked with him on um, Serve the Rich as well. Yeah, you know, he's just super nice. So he like gets the tracks beforehand and he has ideas for it, but he kind of lets you work away and then just sort of helps you to shape it, how the, you can construct the song a bit better. Because mm. we all kind of just learn, like self-taught or learning as we're going. So it tends to be what we like pick up the most from people when we work with. And I wanted to ask about Ponytail as well, because like a lot of the tunes on there, it's kind of got this like hypnotic, repetitive dance thing going on. Uh, was that something that you consciously wanted to go for? Because it is like the theme of the album a bit. Yeah, I think I think because this what I, what I think with Ponytail is the style of playing has changed a bit with the guitars, and I think that helps to give it that position and that that's what like holds it all together. I think sure. there's a, obviously a lot more like electronic sounds on there, but we really sort of honed in on the playing style as well. How did you find that as a, as a guitarist, sort of making that jump from, from the previous albums in terms of that sound to this kind of thing? Well, I learned piano was the first instrument I learned anyway. Right. And, and so I learned guitar because I wanted to play punk music. Um, so it's quite natural for me to go, I've started to get really into synths and like electronic music and techno. And so I was kind of playing with that at home anyway, <laughs> trying to juggle which parts to play so you play guitar and the synths at the same time. But yeah, really natural and it, took, it happened over a long time. There's an Oriel's remix uh, floating about, which I've been uh, loving as well. I've been playing it a few times, uh, well, when we could do club nights. Uh, how how did that come about? Did they approach you with, with wanting to work together or did you just naturally just say, oh, we've got this song? Yeah, we, we went to them actually, just because, um, we, well, we just all love the band and like love their style. And I remember we all sat in the because they're from Manchester as well, so we we're able to meet up and chat about it. Um, and we sat in the studio to listen back to it. And we're all a bit nervous because we're like, oh no, what if we don't like it? Or you know, <laughs> what if we've got to have a brave face? But as soon as it started, we're like, yes, this is excellent. Well, you have been, you have been keeping yourselves busy. Like to say we're in lockdown. I saw that. Obviously, the album is out and you've been working on that, but you've also done this Joy Division cover. Um, yeah, I did this with Yellow Brain, uh, which are our friends from up here. Um, and I don't know if it was, a, I guess it's because it's called Isolation, but we all just love uh, Joy Division. So. Yeah. <laughs> the second one now that we've done. I was going to say, so you've, you've been yeah. there before with Dead Souls, but hey, why not? The, the yeah. songs are good, so you might as well. It, I think it's like quite a, like a poppy, upbeat version of this one. They're like, it's a bit, oh, no, like, yeah. the vibe is a bit different. The... Uh, now, the last time I saw you guys live was around the Bad Thing EP time. And that was, on that EP, obviously, there was Agrophobe that you did with Iggy Pop. And I wanted to ask, have you kept in touch since then? Like, has he sort of been asking about you and what you've been up to? We're in touch as much as you can be in touch. Faith actually mm. done a track for his new album. Yeah, well, she, sorry, she guests. So it's like an exchange, I guess, in a way. So she's guested. Yeah. Um, on a song James Bond, um, on his album, and 
uh, he sent her a, a baby grow for her new baby when she when she was born <laughs> a year ago. So yeah, as as much as you can, as much as you can do. Yeah. We're doing this video to sort of highlight our venues are struggling and the music uh, scene in general right now with uh, COVID and lockdown and everything. And I wanted to ask, taking it way, way back, do you remember the first ever Pins gig? <laughs> um, I do remember it. I was very nervous. We were all very nervous. I played my guitar like <laughs> frozen. And uh, see, there's even a keyboard in at, this, at that time. This, I forgot what it's called, this absolutely awful, massive, broken keyboard. And um, we just used to sellotape the F key, the F down, so just like drone. <laughs> we left, we literally left it in a corridor somewhere one day. We did enough. Because we're doing these these videos for Jaguar Shoes Collective, their venue in London. Here's the Victoria. And I think I'm told by Albert anyway that you last played there pretty much five years ago this month. Uh, I do remember it was, it was very late and very packed and very sweaty. I always find it's it's one where a lot of bands play when they're just trying to break London for the first time. There's not been much support um, shown to d the arts in general. I think it's difficult because as, as well, it's like an industry that's got a lot of people who have probably fallen through the crack. That's the biggest thing I've noticed from like my friends who are involved in the industry, even like yeah. people working bars, like I said, sound engineers, musicians, um, makeup artists, all struggling for that, like, where do we, you don't fit into the box, you, you struggle to just get the, the support that you need. Well, hopefully anyway, you know, we will be able to get back to, to live shows and just, just ent entertainment and music in general. Anyway, doom and gloom out of the way. I thought we'll, we'll, we'll wrap things up. We've been doing this thing called the, uh, the Jaguar Shoes quick fire pin up thing for Instagram. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Just answer the first thing that comes into your head. Don't overthink oh, it. No, what if I say something weird? <laughs> uh, well, I won't lead you into any traps. You'll be fine. Okay. I trust All you. All right. First up then, favourite drink for a gig? Jaeger. Dogs or cats? <laughs> dogs, 100% dogs. Favourite guitar riff? Oh. Oh my God, I don't know. Oh, no, I do. Um... The one from the opening scene of Mandy. I was just watching it live yesterday. Oh, good pick. Very good choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but uh, yeah. I know it was literally watching them play it live. It's just, I'm in quick fire mode. It's gone out of my head. <laughs> anyway, that one. Uh, Favourite festival to go as a punter? Um, Beat Herder. Nice, keeping it local, I like that. <laughs> uh, and then last one, Joy Division or New Order? Oh, that's hard. So cruel. <laughs> Joy Division. I mean, there's, there's no right or wrong answer there. They're both, they're both sick. It's fine. <laughs> that was a tough one. That's like choosing a... yourself as a youngster or yourself as an adult. Yeah, yeah fair. Well, thanks so much for talking to us, Lois. The new Pins album, Hot Slick, is out now. Uh, have you got anything else that you want to plug around that? Like, obviously, people go out and buy the album, but have you got anything else on the go? We've got some new merch and also the tour coming up. We'd love to see you all live. I mean, in the future, obviously, the tickets are on sale, so hopefully it'll all go ahead. Perfect. We'll put some links down here. Go and see them. Go and show you some pots for, for Pins. <laughs> thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers. You can listen to shortwaves at jaguarshoes.com forward slash radio. And don't forget to subscribe to this video so you don't miss out on any future chats. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. You can find us at Jaguar Shoes Collective and at Victoria Dalston.